Good morning and welcome back everyone to part three and perhaps even the last part of our playthrough of Taraco, the Reconquered Campaign. I want to thank you everyone who's joined us so far for this journey, for this special request. Uh, it's a, it's a definitely a fun map, it's probably actually one of my favorites of the Reconquered Campaign. Uh, and if you're liking the series, you can uh, support the channel, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out. And with that out of the way, let's uh, talk about our plan for the day. So. Uh, as you can see, we've got a, a fully functional city here. We have a great economy. We, are, uh, we have a lot of money. And now we need to focus on getting our goals uh, fulfilled here. And chief among those is going to be population. So we need to level up our houses. You can see this block up here is, is doing pretty well. It has some desirability issues, but that's all right. Uh, and then this block here, we haven't really started uh, leveling it up yet. But we did set up the the uh, pottery and furniture, so at least we'll have we'll have that part sorted out. <clears throat> now, I may or may not get a Grand Temple to Mercury this map, maybe stick it over here or something to, uh, to get some plazas, we'll see. We don't need the Grand Temple of Venus on this map because we're not getting patricians, we don't need like the extra entertainment or extra wine or anything like that. Uh, and we don't need something like Ceres for, for the food consumption or anything like that either, so... <clears throat> if we need the uh, the plazas, if we feel we need the extra the extra uh, desirability from the plazas, then we'll get the Grand Temple of Mercury. But if not, we'll just continue on as we are. So everything else is looking pretty good on this map. <clears throat> like I said, we got plenty of money, got plenty of food. So let's go ahead and unpause and let's see what we can do. We did get a lot of weapons here too. By the way, we're starting to ship those out. We've got some marble here coming in, actually. Am I, uh... You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we should probably put this marble to use. I'm thinking we might get some large, uh... Large temples down here. To just get a huge boost in our... Our religion, and then we can get rid of some of the temples in our normal blocks that I put there initially. So let's, uh, let's actually do that. Let's, uh, delete some of these guys here. We'll see if these all fit. They barely fit. Nice. Okay. And we'll get a work camp. Uh, can we stick it here? We can... Oh, I think we can. Well, maybe it's the cow getting in the way. Get out of here, cow. And then we'll get an architect's guild. And then we'll allow for the uh, work camps to grab from this guy over here. And hopefully we'll have enough uh, we'll have enough marble to, uh, to supply these pretty quickly. So, uh, now the gods might get mad in the meantime because we did destroy five temples here. Uh, if they do, we'll just throw down five more temples, like, somewhere around here, and that's, uh, that's totally okay. But, let's, uh, carry on here. Actually, you can see we're getting, they're getting mad already. I, I say the words, and there it is. One, two, three, four, five, there we go. We'll drop them there for now. And then when we're done with these, we'll get rid of the, uh, the block ones. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Okay. Back to work here. We've got our weapon production going. We've got pottery. We can see, actually, we have the pottery here now. I might get another market for this. We'll see. Oh, I didn't allow market ladies here. Let's allow market ladies. And let's get... What else are we going to need here? Let's see if we can get some statues going on here. Do we have any space for medium statues? We've got one here. Let's see if... Okay, that helps out a little bit. This is a desirability issue, which is interesting, because this guy has the... Uh, the nice ponds and everything right behind them, although maybe we can replace the pond with the statue. I wonder if the uh, statue is worth quite a bit more than the pond, but let's actually see. So, real quick, I'm going to pause. So right now we've got these two, which are not leveling up. We'll remove the 
small pond, and we'll get a medium statue instead. Let's see if that helps out. See, this is why I believe in pond supremacy. I'm not going to replace it, but now we know. We believe in the ponds. Alright, let's get the rest of this filled in. Do I have room here? Yeah, I got room here for this. And we'll, uh... We'll fiddle around with this stuff in a little bit. We should be okay, though. Alright, how are we doing here? Good, we got one temple done already, so you see Neptune is finished. We've got some angry gods still, but they should be, uh... They should be figuring it out soon. And let's go ahead, I kind of want to get more... I kind of want to get more marble going in here. There is some marble we can grab here if we wanted to. We're getting this stuff up here already. We're getting this, we're getting this. There's some, I think it was either up here, oh it's here, we've got this stuff right here. Which sadly, sadly we would have to take it all the way around. <laughs> we cannot make a little axis ramp from the cliffs up here. Um, or we can't make a little aqueduct and just slide it down with the water. That would be pretty fun too, but... Alas, that is not in the cards for us. So we have to make do with what we got. Alright, uh, this up here... Let's check it. Okay, so we can get one... Two. We can get two here. That's not great. Um, especially because then I'd have to get a cart depot and I'd have to get a place to put the stuff. I'm actually not going to use this. Um, if anything, we might use it for other things. Use the space for, I don't know, entertainment or something up here. We'll see. Uh, but we'll leave that as it is for now. And instead... I think we'll just take advantage of this up here. So let's clear this up. And even though it has to take a long trip around, that's okay. We'll go marble quarries. Is it one, two, three, four, five. Is there room for a sixth? No. Okay. So let's go... Grab our roads up here. I don't think there's uh, room for a warehouse here, is there? No, I'd be blocking myself off. So we'll instead put the warehouse down here. Let me get an engineer's post and a, uh, a uh, prefecture to watch over these guys. We'll get the warehouse... Uh, we'll put this guy right here. Like that. We don't want anyone to be coming here, and we just want the... We just want the marble for now. Now, this shouldn't interfere with putting a block here, so... That should be fine. We just want to grab a car depot here. And we're going to be going from 16... 16 to 7, I think it was. Yeah. So we'll grab marble. 16 to 7. Perfect. And now you can see we are uh, super low on plebs. So we're going to need a few more people in our lovely city. And now we have the resources to, uh, to upgrade these guys. So it's a good time to add another market here. We'll just stick this sucker right there. And we'll get... I don't know. A couple of Lararia or something here to make this look better. And we'll have this one just focus on the uh, pottery, furniture, oil. And then this guy... Oh, this one's already doing pottery. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's get... We need a bathhouse. I totally forgot. Where can I stick this guy? I can put it here. Can I fit it here? I can. Okay, we can fit it here. So we've got our bath. 
And then we're still going to need more entertainment, among other things here. So we'll get a... Are we? No, I don't think we're going to need more entertainment. I think we actually might be okay for a little bit. If anything, we'll need an actor's colony. So we have our amphitheater, we have our regular theater here. We got a lion pit. Oh no, we got a gladiator school. Let's get the actor's colony. Where are you, actor colony? Here we go, at the bottom. We'll get the road sticking out here so we can touch this guy. And that should get these guys to about the same level as these guys, minus the minus the oil. About eight of here now. We could start shipping oil over if we wanted. It's a, a thing we can do. Got plenty of plebs coming in. Ooh, what was that? That was a request for wheat. We'll get that done. And then the Temple of Venus is nearly completed. We just need three more marble. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the architect and the workshop here. Uh, and then we'll start getting rid of the, uh, like, these kinds of temples. Uh, we're just not going to need them. It's just an extra drain on the economy. Our, speaking of our economy, we are absolutely insane right now. 35,000 denarii. We're feeling great. These guys are starting to level up, which is exactly what we want to see. And... Looking at our pleb economy here, we're, we have available capacity for 116. So we're going to want to get our next block started here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear up this space here. Now, I could get food here if I wanted to. And just use this food to feed this block, but... Um, I don't know if I want to, to be honest. We've got a lot of food just stored up already, and we can just add card pushers and send send some bushels over here. And that should be fine and dandy. Now, let's actually see, though. We're only going to need, like, less than 2,000 plebs here. Like, once, these, once this gets up and running, probably just something like 1,500 plebs, which is not too much, considering we're going to have to level these up. So... Uh, let's make sure we have a road sticking out here that we can road block. Is that a tree? There's a tree here. Get out of here, tree. Let's get this. Actually, just out of curiosity, this is... This is 19 across here. And this would be, what, 14, 6 by 14. Uh, this is fine. And grab a roadblock here. Again, we could use the farmland, but I don't want to... I just don't want to. I'd rather just ship in what we need. So we'll go ahead and we'll just get the... Uh, the few things that we know we're going to absolutely need here. The granary, uh, I'll probably put down here-ish. Maybe up here. Actually, right here might be okay. Or up here, because then it, it uh, shares this space. So we can use this uh, warehouse for the, uh, for the pottery and furniture and all that. And I did leave a tree alive over here, so we could get potentially a... Uh, a lumber yard right over there. It's possible, or we could just get it over here. That's fine too. So let's just do our. Let's see. Let's do the reservoir first. So this covers everything here quite easily. Let's grab that. And we'll do. We'll do these guys up here, maybe. 
Prefecture, Barber, and Doctor. We'll grab a couple small temples here. Actually, maybe just the one for now. And we'll grab a couple fountains. There we go. And so that one's ready for habitation. 3756 on plebs with room for zero more. Okay, so we're maxed out. Our prosperity is maxed at 60. So we're 10 under what we actually need. So that's good to know. Desirability, desirability. Is it really desirability? Is that the thing? Let's put a big old equestrian statue right here. Okay, entertainment is the final piece of the puzzle. So we could grab an arena. Ooh, we have uh, a guy devolving here. That's not good. It looks like they ran these guys are running out of pottery. Do we only have one market running this thing? That might be the issue. Alright, so here's what we can do. We can get rid of... Uh, let's get rid of this guy, get rid of this, get rid of this. We'll grab... Our arena. We'll grab a... Equestrian statue here, just to offset the arena. I don't know if this is going to do anything down here, but we'll drop it here just to just to see. Let's do... Do some statues over here, maybe. We could get some big statues. I totally forgot about this exists, by the way. Fine. We don't need it. Oh, that reminds me. Let's get rid of this and this. Almost forgot. Needs a second type of food. Aha! Alright. So we're gonna lower this down to 16. We're gonna get this at 16. And then we're going to start to ship out some of the fruit that we have over to Granary 2. So we're going to go from, let's see, okay, we'll go some from 4 to 2. We'll stick the cart depot right here, as we can. And we'll do fruit, 4 to 2, and we're going to do destination has less than 16. Should be fine. So that'll be the second type of food here. Uh, and let's take a look at these guys. How are you guys doing? Let's also start shipping over some oil to the, uh, the hopefuls here. So we'll grab a car depot and we'll do oil from 12 to 15. Do I have oil activated here? I do not. There we go. Oil from 12 to 15 here, and that's going to be the same thing. We'll do destination as less than 8. Okay, that should be more than enough here. That'll get these guys nice and uh, leveled up. Do I want to get the second market here? I thought I had a second market here. Maybe I'm, uh... Maybe I'm losing my mind. No, I must be going crazy. I think, you know, I was... I was streaming some Caesar 3 on Twitch... Uh, yesterday. And I was doing the map that we failed... Uh, in the last map. You know, the, uh, Colonia Iulia Amona. And I failed it again. I was so embarrassed. 
it's it's so much harder for me to twitch is to stream Caesar through because I'm interacting with chat and I'm like getting distracted by people asking me questions and I forget to do things and it's like wait a minute I'm worth all my money so I, I lost in a completely different way but it was uh, it was it was a fun time so if you guys uh, ever have a chance if you're watching this if you ever want to see me live I do do Caesar three among other like strategy themed games. Uh, twitch.tv slash author valentine so always feel free to jump in say hello Got a lot of uh, good roman community members there we're always happy to see new people all right let's see speaking of new people we need some new people in our town and we're going to be getting up via this oil here soon happy to see that and then we're also going to want to get a little bit of wheat here a very tiny bit. So I'm going to go to 8 and 24. Let's do that. And just so these guys have their second source. Okay. Now, this isn't roaded here, so these guys are actually just all waiting right here to get their their wheat. So we could road this. So And I might. I mean, I could, um, I could cart depot it as well, but... Let's road it instead. Let's do this. And let's see if they start delivering over here. They should. Now that they have a, uh, a free road to, to do so. Okay, we do have fruit in here now. So we have two, two types of food. And you can see some of them are leveling up. We have Grand Insulate here now. Alright, this is looking really good. So let's take a look at our uh, prosperity in just a second. Sixty-three. Okay, we're uh, we're moving on up here. We do want to be able to get up to uh, the Grand Insulae, Grand Insulae on all of these. I think I will go ahead and get that Grand Temple of Mercury. I'm uh, I'm considering it here. So how do we want to do this? Let's clear this up right here. This should be more than enough space. We'll do Grand Temple to Mercury. Yep, there we go. Put it right there. We're going to drop a highway here. And we're also going to get a highway here. We're going to grab... Well, actually, we're going to kind of change this. So we're going to get this. One, two, three. Let's get our granary like that. There we go. Turn off everything. All right, wheat and not fish. Get out of here, fish. Wheat and fruit for now. Uh, let's go ahead and roadblock. Actually, get out of here, you. Get out of here, you. Oh, not that. Okay, we're being harassed for weapons, so let's start storing up some weapons. And we're going to need stone first, which we can... can get. Excuse me. I totally forgot we can get our own stone on this map. Can't get it here. Now, I could get my own stone. I could replace some of the marble and get my own stone like that. Uh, I could import some stone. I think I'm just going to get my own. We're, uh, we're pretty heavy on... On, uh, whatchamacallit. We're pretty heavy on marble, so I don't think we need that much more. So let's get... Let's open this up. We're gonna get camps. So I'm also gonna let market ladies come here. I'm gonna kill off three of these for now. And we're gonna go stone... Stone, stone, stone. Let's allow some stone in here. There we go. Let's get an engineer and a prefecture up here. Okay. That should be fine. And then I could get... Um, I could get some timber down here if I wanted for this. Like we could get an extra 
thing down here for timber and bricks and concrete. Let's actually do that. So let's get... Let's clear out some of this. As we can. Uh, let's get a... Let's get a road here. Let's clear this out too. So we're going to need timber. We're going to need bricks. We're going to need concrete. I uh, can get sand here, so that's good. So let's get sand. Get two stands, two sand, two clay, and we're gonna get uh, some timber like that, and then we'll go ahead and road these up. Like this and that. I'm gonna bring this up here. And we'll just do this. Let's roadblock all this stuff up here. Come on, Chad, figure it out. You're deleting your own roads, you animal. Okay, so we're gonna allow timber. We're going to allow bricks. We've got marble and stone over where we need it. And then we're going to need bricks, uh, brick makers, and then concrete will do itself. So let's get workshop, bricks, one, two, bricks, three, four, maybe. Let's just do the four. Let's grab our engineer. Let's grab our prefecture. And then let's actually start getting plebs in here. Because I'm adding a lot of infrastructure here. There we go. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. There we go. We'll get those, and then we'll start getting some food in here. Speaking of food, how are we doing? Got a ton of wheat over here, so let's actually start sending the wheat from this guy all the way down over here. Just because it seems like this one's full the most. Iron deposits discovered. A report from your guardsmen. Some of the cooperative locals have told us about large deposits of iron ore in the nearby hills. If you could set aside some funds, Governor, we could um, mount an expedition to that area and establish a mining camp and a trading post. New trade location unlocked. Iron deposits. Aha. It's just called iron deposits, by the way. So they'll sell us a bunch of iron. We are getting some iron already. But we can also sell them some things as well. I'm just going to open it, because why not? Why not? We'll let that be for now, and then let's just keep focusing on our food situation here. Let's get some more wheat farms. Grab you here. And you here. And then we can get these guys up this way. Let's get rid of this. And then we'll grab a cart depot. And we're going from, what was it? 14 to 17. Okay. 14, 17, there we go. It's a, a hugely long trip, so we might even want two car depots for this. We shall see. Can I even get fish on this map? I don't think I can. I cannot. Okay. What was that? The Republic requisitions goods. On behalf of the Senate and people of Rome, you are tasked to supply our troops. We require arms, armor, fodder, and pay for our soldiers. Roman generals have taken 8 weapons, 2,000 denarii, and 64 wheat from your stockpiles, and your favor rating has increased by 5. Okay. So they are, uh... They're seriously sacking our food reserves here. So let's get even more wheat. Get that up here. And then we're gonna we're gonna relax for a minute because we have a lot of plebs coming in and it's gonna take them a while to actually get into these houses. Okay, and then we'll grab a market here as well. Well, we don't need it yet because we don't have food, but uh should I get food here? 
Should I get like a farm or something? Maybe two. The desirability would be punishing though. We still have room for for like a 3x3 three three up here. It wouldn't be awful, I suppose. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's, um... Let's do... Because we're getting the wheat delivered. Let's do fruit instead. Okay, here's what we do. Roadblock all this stuff here. Okay, you guys should be fine. The Engineer Prefecture. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Uh, excuse me, it's my, my creaky chair makes a lot of noise there. go. Yeah, let's get our desirability going here. There we go. Get out of here, Caesar. We're busy. Got our weapons ready. There we go. Got one more small pond. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna relax on building anything here, so we can get our uh, food sources up. You can see we're getting some food in here now. Let's grab our. Market. We'll grab a Lararia or two. Okay. Nine of twenty on stone now. Emperor's gratitude. Cool. Fifty-two of seventy-two on wheat. All right. So we're gonna have plenty of food. These guys should level up very quickly. We should have a lot of plebs moving in. Yeah, you can see a lot of, a huge train of plebs, in fact, moving in here now. So once they come in, we'll get a... Once this uh, unemployment is a little less lopsided, we'll get the rest of what we need. Oh. We are going to need concrete here in a bit. We'll add that in a second. We're not going to get it yet because, again, we don't want to go too crazy with the... The plebbery here. Alright, let's dispatch the food. Which also takes away all the wheat we just got. Rip. And we do have some starvation here. So let's add food to these guys. So we have two guys doing food here. I know it looks a little bit bad, but it's just uh, it's just some growing pains, fear not. Let's speed it up a bit. Because we're not willing to do any we don't really need to do too much now, we just need the uh, we just need the plebs to come on in. And then let's see, these should level up again pretty quickly. 1500 fruit here. Are you not getting. Let's see. Because this block should be stable. Okay. 
In fact, all of our blocks should be stable. That's, uh... There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Okay. And we have room for how many? We have room for 733 more. Perfect. Let's get this out this way. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, you can see how many people are coming in now. There we go. These are starting to figure themselves out. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so now we need our concrete. So let's go ahead and add those, kind of. I can see that things are going not well here. Hmm. That's interesting. Could these guys be wandering off somewhere they're not supposed to go? They're not connected anywhere else. So they can't be heading to other... They couldn't be hitting here. Ooh, are they hitting up here? I think that's too far away, but we might have had Market Lady setting up here. That would explain a little bit. If they were wandering around. Because I did connect this. So that could have been a, uh, a no no that we committed. Alright. Minus 62, minus 54. We've got a huge amount of people coming in right now. Enormous. Okay, perfect. This is looking much better. So let's get our workshops for concrete now. Uh, maybe not here. Because I need, remember, you need water for concrete. Let's get them down here. So let's get a reservoir right here. We'll extend our road a little bit. And then we'll go workshop, concrete, one, two, three, four. Let's get another sand, sand pit right here. Okay, okay, we're at positive unemployment now, that's good. So let's grab our bath, put the bath right up there, we'll grab our theater, and we'll grab our library, just to make sure everything's nice and tidy here. We'll grab a couple of small statues, and I don't usually play on the speed, so let's slow it back down, I just wanted to do that for the uh, sake of speeding up our plebs incoming. Okay. Yeah, I think the Temple of Mercury is going to be a good idea here. Let's get rid of this, and that, and this. And then let's get a roadblock up here. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Alright, we should be on the way to victory now. Let's take a look real quick. 48.92 is our max pop, so we're still slightly short of our goal, but we got a lot of room for other houses on this block in particular. And then some, um, I think we can fit some around here. It's likely. Maybe not. With the water situation, we might have to do some kind of funny business here, but we'll see. We could add another fountain. We could add, like, fountains here, so they can reach over, and then we can get houses on this side. That's a possibility. And then we can move the temples around somewhere else, too. Okay. Hopefully we don't need to do that, though.
Like, once we level these guys up and we add a few more houses on the periphery here, we should be okay. Alright, let's uh, lower this down to 8. I don't need to have any more extra stone here. We're going to keep some because I think we still need some uh, for the Grand Temple. Economically, we're still perfectly fine and viable. We don't need to do anything else. And then once we're done with the Grand Temple, we can get rid of a lot of this uh, unnecessary infrastructure here. So that'll help out a little bit as well. And then eventually we'll allow... Actually, how are we going to do this? We're probably going to put the entertainment down here, like the actor's colony, things like that. And then we'll just keep the... Uh, the uh, Oh my god. Warehouse like this, and then we'll add the pottery and so on and so forth. We'll get rid of the stone once we're done with the stone as well. <clears throat> it sounds good to me. Hopefully it sounds good to you guys. The desirability looks like it'll be achieved pretty easily. We can also move like the library down here to get another house right here. Mars is blessing. It's not too useful for us, but I'll take it all the same. Alright. Let's actually go ahead. I'm going to speed it up again here. Save it so I don't mess anything up. And I just want to get this concrete out of here. Concrete's kind of an annoying resource to get. Because you, you get these uh, these things for a very short amount of time, and then you never need them again. There we go. Alright, we can say sayonara to the concrete. Ooh, 24 weapons is quite a lot, isn't it? Where are we storing these things? Right here. Let's go up to 24 here. I kind of want to get another weapons workshop here. Let's do it. Nine of 24 now. Okay. Marble and timber. So marble. We're going over here. Let's actually increase the marble. that we're getting here. And let's turn this off for a second so we're not taking that marble out. Blessing from Venus, very cool. Because there's going to be another point where we're going to need more marble here, so it's good to know. Okay, let's actually continue on with this block here. Let's get a school Stick the school over here for now. And we can get an amphitheater up here. Let's lower the speed a bit. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to get a road like this. Maybe like that. And we're going to get our NG. And we're going to get our prefecture. And then we're going to get our, whatchamacallits, we're going to get our actor colony first. And then we can get our gladiators. Now don't, don't that beat all. Get out of here, you. I'm done with you. Gladiators can just go right here. That should be fine for now. And that'll take care of the entertainment and education for a while. We just need to get the uh, the resources in here, which I might I might actually put those resources right here, just because we have the uh, the timber and clay set up already. Once this is done, I can get rid of a lot of these things. And then we'll just add the uh, timber and clay, and we'll ship it over here. That sounds like a good idea. All right, six of sixteen on marble here. I wish I could have used some of these rocks for marble. That would have been extra cool. But alas, it is what it is. I could also ship some marble from like here to here instead. Just to speed it up. That's actually maybe a good idea. 
Okay, our weapons are ready. So to 16. So we'll go to 16 like that, and then instead of delivering up here to sell, we'll deliver it up here to, to use for our project here. It looks like we're stable on our blocks, which is perfect. That's what we want to see. We have a lot of unemployed, ple unemployed plebs now. So we will have to settle that in a bit. We could get a forum up here and start taxing these nerds. We could also get it down here. That'd be fine, too. But I think for now we'll just wait for this to finish and then see what we can do. We'll go ahead and speed it up again. Let's get it up to 100%. It is, uh, there's something about this map which is very aesthetic, and I don't know what it is. I feel like you just, it has like a natural course to it where you got things moving up and down the river. Um, and, you know, the flow of goods just kind of has a naturalness to it that's nice to see. It's very pleasing, and, and it feels like there's just enough space for what you want to. So, it doesn't feel like there's any wasted space or anything. You've got everything that you want where you need it things where you would like it better, it can get moved very easily, it's just a kind of a nice a nice feeling map. Maybe we should do more reconquered maps here. We'll see. They are they are pretty fun maps. The majority of them are. Okay, let's switch do we want to switch this up? I think we're gonna need more marble here soon, so maybe we'll let it go. Alright. So we should have the... Yep, there he is. There's our architect right here. And now we're going to need bricks, marble, and timber. So we actually don't need this stone anymore, I don't think. I thought there was another stone phase on this. Maybe I'm, I'm making it up. I'm a liar. Let's grab our... Marble, we'll get our marble back here. We need 12 marble here, we have 11. Should be fine. Nice. Getting our timber first. Caesar wants his denarii, and I'm happy to give it to him. Although it's the Senate right now, it's not Caesar, but it's okay. We love them all the same in this time period. The Blessed Senate of the High Republic. Not of the Late Republic, of course. It's a terrible entity in the Late Republic, which is why it got overthrown by the righteous and just Julius Caesar and his heir and god Divus Augustus, father and son. not really true. Caesar didn't get to overthrow the Republic, sadly. He was killed before its rot could be cleansed from this universe. Alright. 12. Okay, we're gonna need 28 bricks. That's a lot of bricks. So let's, um... Let's get a couple more brickworks here, I suppose. using bricks or something else? Were we selling them or something? Oh! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I think I have had um, guys coming over here to buy the bricks. That's bad. I think, I was like, wait a minute. How are we losing bricks from this? I think we've had some traders go all the way around to buy bricks and I wasn't even seeing it. Shame on me. 120 wheat. Oh no. That's so much wheat. Oh, let's slow down. Slow your roll here, Caesar. You wanted this in 12 months? Come on now. Also, I like how there's this one little area. 120 wheat. 
120. 16. Okay, we're gonna need... We're gonna need another warehouse for wheat. Let's get you up here. Grab a granary here. All the way at the top. Let's grab a few more farms. All right. And see, are these guys connected anymore? They should be not. Should be okay. These suckers are coming down here. We've got a lot of just wheat waiting to be harvested here. So let's, um... Oh. Let's turn all this off, and then let's turn on wheat here. That should help. So we don't have any... A weird wait times. And then I might actually take out this road and then just do deliveries from this one down to this one. That might make it easier. That should be a little bit more manageable, hopefully. We can get this up to 24. Gets us to 95, perfect. Okay, I think we can take care of this. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. Are you guys at 15 of 28 on the bricks now? It's our last thing that we're going to need. We can turn this guy back on. I totally forgot about it. There we go. Did we move this guy back? 10 to 16, let's do that. There we go. Nineteen of twenty-eight. One oh eight of one twenty now. This is almost completely full. This is going to be enough. 113. Oh, we just took a huge hit right there. Let's grab a granary. Here. We'll add wheat. And then this should come up. Pretty quickly. 119. Uh, one more. Someone drop a... There it is. Okay, we got it. There we go. 27 of 28 bricks. Okay, we're done with bricks. We can get rid of these guys. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And then 5 of 5, I think, is just the commemoration... And then we should be good to go. Yep, so let's get rid of these guys. Got a huge amount of unemployment right now. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to grab... Not farms, you silly goose. We're going to grab workshops. And a couple of pottery workshops here. One, two... And then furniture... And this is going to become no more timber here. Oops. My uh, clicking accuracy is quite awful. Pottery furniture. We'll do that.
And then let's go ahead and finish this. We'll get our plazas, and I think we might be at a good spot. It's dedication. I like he has to dedicate it five times. He has to go to each corner, and then he goes to the center. There we go. There it is. Okay, our epithet choice, we can do Priest Reduce Pottery and Furniture Consumption by 20%, or Priest Reduce Oil and Wine by 20%. We're going to do the Pottery and Furniture, because we're, we're not even using wine here. So let's apply that. And that gives us a couple things. So we'll slow down. But most importantly, it gives us plazas. Do I need to wait a month? There it is. <laughs> it, it doesn't go right away. It ticks over the next month, so there we go. Alright, we figured it out. Plazas. So many plazas. That should help with the desirability bigly. There we go. Alright. We're looking like a proper city now. This puts us at 4,944 plebs, which means once these guys get uh, leveled up and we add maybe, I don't know, two or three more houses here, we'll have more than enough to meet our 5,500 gold. Our economy is out of control, which you love to see. We've got enough wheat for these, like, emergency... emergency situations where we need a ton of wheat, which is fine. Which means next time, not this time, will be our final episode for Taraka. We should be able to beat it. We'll do our final tweaking and then we'll have a completed city. It's almost there right now, but we'll uh, save it for next time. So thank you everybody who joined us for this episode. Make sure you're liked and subscribed. Leave a comment down below. It helps out the channel a lot. And until next time, have a good rest of your days, evenings, and mornings as they may be. Take care.